and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're going to do a bit of a fun card. Um, it's a sort of a bridge, well it's a bridge card, but it's sort of a floating one. So I'll show you what you need to do. We need first of all a piece of um, heavyweight um, whisper white cardstock and it's literally half a sheet. So wherever you are, half a sheet. Our sheets measure eight and a quarter um, and I know in America they measure like eight inches but don't worry just just cut it in half. You're going to score it on the so on the long side the eight and a quarter or eight inch side you're going to score it at one inch. Let's do it with a bigger one it's easier. One inch and at two inches then you're going to turn it round because it's the easiest way to do it and you score it at one inch and two inches then if you flip the card straight over like that so it's on the other side and then at the two inch you're going to score it on the other side it just makes the folding a bit easier and again, rotate it round and on the two inch side, score it on the other side. Now that's all the scoring that we need to do. So it's very simple. Wherever you are, you're just scoring it on the long side at one inch and two inches. Okay, so we then need to cut some um, mats to go in on this. So the mats that you need to cut are... And I've used the beautiful See a Silhouette Designer Series paper because it's bright and it's summery and it has lovely little elements that you can cut out. So you have a sheet which is, which I've cut most of the pieces out of, but you have a sheet, let me see if I've got another whole one at the back, I probably have, yeah. You've got a sheet with uh, leaves in. So you can cut those leaves out and you've got a sheet which has really nice, big, easy flowers to cut out. So um, they're, they're easy shapes because you've got a really big board around it. So just cut out some of those. Um, I always have an envelope with mine in. So as I'm sort of cutting away, I keep all of my pieces in an envelope like that and that's what we're going to use don't know how many don't know how much but I'm going to put those out so you need some of those flowers and then the DSP that I chose was this lovely um this lovely patterned piece um now if you cut again whatever your half sheet of um design series paper is and you cut it your you know your length so whatever your length and your side is then if you cut it along an eighth of an inch smaller so I've cut four panels each one of them is an eighth of an inch smaller so I've just got to work out I did this beforehand to save a bit of time and I'm now going to faff about trying to work out which bit goes where because I've just put them all separately they, you should be able to get them so that they go into the same pattern let's have a look and see does that one match on there oh it's probably because I've got it upside down that one is on there yes that's that piece on there and then this one so as I say once you've cut it yep yeah, that one goes on there that one then goes on there so if you've got a directional one it's easier to do it before you actually start to build everything so what we're going to do is we are going to adhere these pieces. So by cutting it in one sheet and then cutting it an eighth of an inch, you can cut it straight the way across, which is what I did. So I'm going to put the, I've done it an eighth of an inch smaller because it's actually easier to see and do it. And then you're literally just going to, um, I use wet glue, you can use snail, you can use whatever you want to just adhere those pieces just make sure that your tops and bottoms are done nicely and then we are going to just put this in this is where it's quite difficult with my head um, so you've got an eighth of an inch board around there which just makes it easier 
when you're doing the folding and just gives a says me I can't do this straight on camera because I can't see where I am so let me just ease that up a bit and hopefully I've got it straight it's very difficult on camera to try and get these things done but okay that's the first one because um, I have my camera literally just above my head so I can't sort of get my head in very easily so I tend to be more cack handed than I normally am but there we go okay so that's the second piece so we're just going to literally just put each one of these down I'm going to come a little bit nearer this time so I can see where I am so that's better and then we're going to take this piece goes in the center Just glue this across the side. It's quite nice now. The weather has cooled down a little bit here in the UK, so it's not quite as um, hot as it was. So let's just put this bit in. And again, say so you've got that eighth of an inch, which when you're bending it, it just allows that little bit of, um, of space in between. So that then when you burnish each one of the sides, it makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so put all four of these in. And this makes your sort of standard bridge card. You can do a bridge card any size you want, as long as you make sure that your two pieces on either side are the same size for folding. So let's put that there at the top, down at the bottom. There we go. That's the third one, and then the last one. Yes, and I managed to get them all the right way up. The amount of times where I've done things with little pieces and you get to the last one and you look back and you think, oh, I've put a piece of paper around the wrong way round. But uh, this is a fairly simple pattern. If you're using something that is a little bit intricate, then just make sure that you, um, you watch that and line your pieces up first so you know which way you're doing it okay so that's the easy way of adhering all of those before we do any folding now um folding this because we did it on the other side we are going to fold along the crease line in take your bone folder and give it a good crease then we are going to fold this second piece outwards. So it's a, um, a bit like a fan. So you've got an in and you've got an out like that. And exactly the same on this side. You fold that piece in like that. A little piece of paper stuck on me. Oops. So I must have been cutting something out earlier on. I've got a tiny little piece. That I've obviously put a piece of glue on and it's stuck to me. Okay, so take that piece down and then fold that piece out that way. There we go. And you now have what is your bridge card. So, um, and as I say, you do need to make sure your creases are pretty straight or, or as flat as you can get them because that helps it, um, helps it stand. So when they're both together like that, just make sure you've given it a a good crease using heavy weight you've got a little bit more but what will happen is that it will then stand up quite nicely like that and then you can put your message and whatever onto the back so that's that piece of that done which is quite good and that will fit into um, the standard UK size envelopes um, and I think probably most of the envelopes if it doesn't then just sort of adjust your measurements accordingly okay so now we are going to start building this up a bit before we do, yeah, we're going to build this up to start off with and then I'll show you the next bit. Okay, so I have just cut a sentiment to go in the centre. So the sentiment is just going to go like that. And then I'm going to build up a little bit round the inside because um, we've got a little bit of depth here so we can do that. So I'm just going to take out of my envelope whoops, all the pieces that I've cut out so far. And we'll see, is that it? Yep. And we'll see what we can do with those. Let me put them over on this side of the envelope, then I can see them a bit clearer. So we've got, um, we've got some leaves and we've got some flowers. 
Then we've got some bigger flowers, which I'm going to save for the front. And I think maybe just one or possibly two on the inside. Haven't really thought. And then we're going to have these leaves on the inside part like that and hopefully we'll have enough to be able to do what we want to do okay so we're going to build the center to start off with now because we've got some height in here we can put it on um, dimensionals straight away so let me get some dimensionals out I've got some standards and I've got some minis and I've got some pieces I'm using up around the edges at the moment on there so I've got both of those to go around the edges okay let's use those first so we're just going to put this one down now I want to put some things in so I'm just going to take a wedge down the center of this bit and then just put that straight down the middle because then that gives me room on either side to be able to tuck some of the elements in that I want to tuck in so we're going to put this one in on here and line it up slap bang in the center um, I've taken the sentiment of this one from um, the floral essence all days are beautiful that begin with you because that can tie for a birthday anniversary or whatever and the circle I cut from the largest um, stitched frame um, stitch shapes um, but you can cut whatever shape you want you can just cut a square if you want to now we're going to tuck a few leaves and things in here so let's have a leaf up at the top um, I've got some that I've cut as doubles and we'll have a leaf sort of down at the bottom I think like that will work um, do we want any more um, we could just sort of tuck a few in couldn't we okay let's just start Let's just start putting some down. Um, now we can put those up with dimensionals as well. In fact, I'm going to glue those because um, it will be a little bit quicker, I think. Um, but you can do them with dimensionals or with glue. It's entirely up to you. You just want it to be able to stick on. So I'm literally just sort of filling in spaces here. So we'll have one like that. And we'll put another one down at the bottom and then we'll work on um, where we're going to put things on top. So let's put that in that way and then tuck that in underneath like that. So as I say, you're building a scene up in the centre. You can use whatever you want. I've chosen to use this because it is fairly straightforward. You're only cutting things out. You're not spending a lot of time building up a scene with um, with lots of um, um, stamped images that you then have to die cut or cut out. If you want to build a beautiful, huge scene, you can do. Um, it's entirely up to you. I just wanted to show you a way of doing this that wasn't going to take a huge amount of time. Um, so let's pop that one in like that. Um, we'll tuck a little one in. Now some of these are just little half pieces, but as I said, I always use, that'll work. I always try and use everything that I've got. So even the little pieces around the edge, I'll still cut those out because you can just tuck a little one in like that, which then works over the top of there. That one's on there. Let's have a look and see putting some of these down on whoops down on here um, and as I say it's all about just building up that scene so that you've got something that um, that you want so let's put this one down in like that and it's just sort of coming through on those colors um, should we have another little one got a little there there's another one that's a half cut off one that can go in on the center on there because that'll build that up just a little bit so I'm gonna stick this one in it's got a little bit of yellow on it which is quite nice put that one in on there and as I say you can carry on and carry on as much as you want I'm just going to do that for now because that will give us an idea now what you need to then do is you are going to cut a piece of acetate now 
the acetate that you cut is going to be, and again, it'll depend on the measurement that you do. So you need to, if you take your card that you've got, you're going to fold one piece in and you're going to fold the other piece out. You want your acetate to fit from that side to that side when it's folded down. Because what happens then when you, um, when you want to bring it up, it will fold out like that so you can see it from the top. And also it means that it will fold nicely to go inside um, an envelope quite well. Okay, so um, on that, you're going to again take your, your half sheet size. So it is going to measure from there, fold your piece out so it is an inch shorter than what you started with, like that. And you're going to put um, double-sided tape just on two sides so just on the um the width side okay so if you cut it and then you sort of put it where you want it and then turn around and go okay fine right that's where i'm going to stick it that's the easiest thing so double-sided tape then you're going to peel it off and i've done the double-sided tape first because you know me i'm a bit cat handed at doing these things but the easiest way to do it is you want to try and get this as me getting my head so you want to line it up with the edge and obviously being see-through it's actually quite difficult to do that but hopefully have I got that in the right place I think so like that and then you are going to flatten it out this way and then put the other piece I don't know whether I'm completely straight on here but hopefully I'm just about. So if you take the other piece off, this is me, I can never get these things off. I know you use a pokey tool and stuff like that, but um, with my arthritis in my fingers, I do find it quite difficult. Okay, so fold that piece down there, and then this is going to fold and go straight down so just make sure that your edges are straight before you do it. And then you're just going to put it down flat like that. Okay, and then you can take your um, bone folder and just put your tape in so it goes on either side. So when you then bring it back up, you have a nice piece says me I've got static on it you have a nice piece so fold it one side to the other like that one side to the other like that so as I say just make sure your creases are going well but then you have the piece that goes across the front like that I'm a little bit out but that's purely because of my lights um, you're going to do it so that it runs exactly from the top to the bottom if you are a little bit out you can actually just take it and trim it off um, but I think it'll be alright for this example so now we've got the centre done how we want now it's about building up the outside and this what is what gives you a sort of um, Oh, like those floating frame things, um, which I've always thought are quite clever, but I haven't got any of that stuff that you can only get from America or on Amazon or one of those things like that. I tend to not not get roped into things that you can only buy from, you know, strange places that, that's very difficult to um, um, to be able to get hold of. So I tend to um, I tend to just use things that you can get from stamping up or from you know any of your other sort of craft supplies so what we're going to do is we're going to build up a picture with the flowers coming across here and just work out where where we want to put them so I'm just going to sort of build it up around the side like this and I've got quite a big one here haven't I um, maybe I'm not going to use that little one there maybe I'm just going to have that there that sort of three isn't it um, oh I'm always faffing about doing things like this aren't I but I do like to sort of work out where I'm going to put things I quite like the in fact I quite like this big one to maybe come up the bottom because there's quite a bit of space there yes I like that one there 
and I might have this one just sort of coming out there like that and we'll have that one there. So I might just do the four at the moment because I quite like the way that is. Now with these you can put glue on them um, or you can put snail or you can put dimensionals. If you put wet glue be very careful because the acetate can uh, can make an awful uh, um, it can make an awful mess on it but if we put I'm going to start with this bottom one I think because it'll be easier we're just going to put some dimensionals on on here because again it'll give it a bit of height um, it's the sort of thing that is probably not going to be um, the easiest thing to post um, but you know you always you can do if you want to um, it's probably something that you would um, you would give to somebody um, or as I say, you can fold it flat and you can post it, um, but it's obviously going to have a little bit of bulk on there. So it's going to be a little bit more expensive than sort of a, um, a one or two layers. So we want this to literally sort of come out so that it is part on one side and part on the other. So it's sort of floating a little bit, which I think is quite nice. We'll have this one coming down from the top pop some dimensionals on. I'm using our large dimensionals because um, I just want to do that. Put this one on the top like that. So we'll have that at about that angle. Yeah. Or maybe, yeah, maybe like that actually. There we go. That one can go on there. I'm just going to, I'll have to stick those little edges down, but I will, I'll faff about with it afterwards. I just wanted to get the basic idea of how you're going to put this in and how it looks as a really nice sort of three dimensional card or floating card or whatever they, the name is. I just thought it was quite pretty and I thought, hmm. I'm sure uh, I'm sure it'll work with some of the lovely things that we've got and something that's not too difficult to do if you just do it with designer series paper because you still get that three dimensional look and just put that one in just there like that. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that, but um it gives you let me see if I can get it up at the if you, uh, if you see on there, you have, you've got that sort of depth coming through. When you stand it up, you can see on there how you get the real depth. It stands up perfectly. You have room on the reverse side to be able to put a, um, a border and to, to mount that round on. Um, but I think it, apps, it looks really nice. And it's a very simple idea. And with the acetate, you can't even see it so that it uh, it gives you that real sort of three dimensional look. And as I say, you can you can take it to the next level however you want. You can add more leaves around the side. You can make it so that you can only just see little bits through. You can build up these leaves inside however you want to do it. But the nice thing is that it will fold nice and flat and you can pop it in an envelope to pop it in the post. So um a, a fun idea. Hope you enjoyed it. Do look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.